I am finally debt free. Feels great, right? But here's some things that I did not know prior to paying off my debt that I wish I would have known. It's a great thing to pay off debt. I don't regret anything. There's some things I wish I would have done differently. However, pretty much for the most part, I'm happy to be debt free. It feels amazing, okay? But this is gonna be a video talking about some of the things that happen while paying off debt and also what happens to you mentally when you finally do pay off debt, okay? So make sure that you follow me on Instagram at the upgrade underscore Kiki. Give this video a thumbs up if it helped. And let me know in the comments some of the things that maybe you went through after becoming debt free. Share the info because I think that this generation is finally seeing that this is not normal to live life in debt right everyone is working on becoming debt free so if you are also debt free let me know and let's get into the video i can say specifically for if you use dave ramsey's total money makeover to pay off debt that something that's going to happen is you're going to keep those strict habits as soon as i paid off my student loan the first thing that i did was say well now what it almost felt like I didn't have a purpose to make money anymore or something. I was so sad. The journey was so fun and I wish I would have enjoyed it a lot more than I did. I know that sounds weird. Like, is it fun to pay off debt? To me, it was. It was just giving me something to look forward to. You're knocking down those balances. I've been doing this for, you know, a year or over a year. What's my next step? So my next step was to grow my savings. As I have told you all, I went from $1,000 to $5,000 very fast. I do have a video on that. Then I went from $5,000 to $10,000 really quickly. And now I'm going from $10,000 to $15,000. I wasn't expecting that after I became debt free to still have those strict habits that I had to become debt free. I have no more payments, except for of course my mortgage. And like I tell you all, I'm house hacking. I thought I was gonna spend the money. Like I could do whatever I want now, I'm debt free. I could upgrade my car, whatever. But I just didn't and I didn't spend it. I'm still on that same strict budget. I went from spending $80 every two weeks for like fun money to now spending $100 every two weeks. And I don't know why I'm so strict, but I think when you go without so many things for so long, you finally see that, oh wow, this stuff was actually not important and was never important. Something else that I wish I would have known is to stop the snowball method a lot faster than I did. I started off with the snowball method because that's the first method I learned, but I wish I would have just moved on up to the avalanche because the avalanche would have saved me a lot more time, really. If I would have focused on the highest debt, which had the highest payment, I would have boy been debt free a lot sooner because of me I didn't really need that oh knocking down one balance thing I didn't need that honestly but some people do you know like my co-worker she's doing the same thing as me and she has to do the smallest to largest because she likes marking them off it makes it easier for her for me though I wish I would have started off with the highest because then I would have just boom the next thing is you don't need that much money to live now i just did a video on why i no longer work for money but i tell you no lie when your life is not expensive you start really seeing that working a nine to five is a scam when i say working a nine to five is a scam i am not saying that entrepreneurship is the next thing because i don't want to be an entrepreneur either that is not my go-to i'm not i don't have the entrepreneur spirit i also don't like customer service so i don't want to work with people I want to do whatever I want, but with less time. You know what I mean? So people always say, well, a nine to five is important because da, da, da. no, a nine to five is like a scam unless you're doing something that you actually love and you're okay with working the 40 hours a week. Me, I'm not. I more care about time. So because of that, I made sure to make my life cheap. And I'm not saying that I live in deprivation at all i hope people don't take it that way but you really start seeing when you're on this debt-free journey and you're strict and you're on that ramen noodle diet like the budget needs to says yeah you don't care about that unnecessary crap anymore and then you realize that you don't have to work as many hours anymore i also wanted to mention that if you are not using dave ramsey's method to pay off debt because he's not the only person please still have an emergency savings of at least 500 dollars please at minimum because after covid i know a lot of people were putting all that money towards debt and that really could have waited and they had zero savings and some of them got laid off so i think it's very important for you to still have a savings of at least like i say at least 500 
If you can do three months worth of expenses, that's even better. And closing accounts can hurt your score. If I would have known that, I just regret paying off so much debt before I bought a home because honestly, it did hurt my score and it did delay the process a little bit because my my lender basically told me to go and use my credit card for at least $15 so that something could report. If you're going to be buying a home, yes, you want to lower your debt to income ratio, but please talk to your lender first because if you're closing out your oldest accounts, it can really hurt when it's time to buy a home. Okay. And just be prepared for that score drop. So if you're planning on making any big purchases using your credit, don't pay off a bunch of stuff. Credit cards are okay, but loans and student loans, you know, be careful. Another lesson is credit cards can be leveraged. Now, after I became debt free, I did not touch my credit cards anymore because I felt so disconnected and like I say if you follow Dave Ramsey you know that he's not big on credit cards however if you are responsible you can get money back <laughs> and I mean Navy Federal has a good program so does discover is my baby I use discover for everything and you get points back you get money back on your purchases so I try to use my discover for business purchases to be honest I try to use it for when I stay in hotels, anything, because you get that money back. And I just wanted to say that to the people who are like, oh, I'm debt free, I'm gonna cut up my credit cards. No, if it has a bad interest rate, you might wanna cut it up. Don't be so afraid of credit cards. They could really be a good thing if you use them right. Something you should do after is once you become debt free, and I know you're gonna be in the habit of having goals, so try to set savings goals. I already talked about that a little bit earlier, but saving 5,000, 10,000, 15,000, those big money goals that you couldn't do because you had so many things to pay, even after a pay cut, having a kid, paying all those expenses that come with the kid, this is the most money I've ever had in my life. Not because of anything other than me just being aggressive with saving and being debt free debt freedom is the best way to reach your savings goals honestly there are so many videos on how to save up money yes you can cut back on your home expenses cut back on food expenses but not having debt is really going to be where you're just going to see so much money i know that i can go up on my spending budget for the month i just don't want to because i just feel so great seeing myself save all this money because there's going to be a time where i'm going to be able to use it but right now i just want to stack you know so set savings goals that you want you want to go on a trip you want to plan a wedding anything you want to do you can do it maybe you want to save up for early retirement like me or maybe you want to buy a home you might want to buy a new car i hope not you don't want to get back into debt after you become debt free but if you do i can't judge i'm not judging your purchases but you can do whatever you want now i won't lie it is overwhelming sometimes to see so much money at once you know i've never like i said i've never had so much money in my life this is the first time in my life i've ever seen ten thousand dollars aside from you know of course my 401k but my money i've never seen ten thousand dollars before in my account and that feels so good and that's just my savings you know that's not even my other accounts this is just strictly my sabbatical savings make sure you do still treat yourself you're debt free now you don't have to do the ramen noodle diet all the time you can treat yourself and take yourself out to eat or take yourself to get your hair done or maybe you want to buy a motorcycle i don't know but it is okay to treat yourself life is still too short i know i say that in every video but it is and the main thing i want people to consider you know like i say i do not want to be an entrepreneur <laughs> if it just so happens to come up and i become an entrepreneur i'm going to be very shocked however that is not something i desire i will say that being debt free you could really cut back your hours at work y'all you can work 10 to 2 or less you can work three days out the week if you wanted to or every other week if you wanted to you know you can do whatever when you are not a slave to things you don't have to spend so much time trying to make money to make purchases does that make sense i am happy to be debt free make sure if you like this video you check out some of my other videos where i talk about going on a sabbatical and you know minimalism so i hope you all enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up also make sure that you follow me at the upgrade underscore kiki and i will see you all on the next video